How's it going guys? So this winter I got to thinking and decided to do something that we'll see if we regret doing or not, but we're actually gonna sell this New Holland. So I'm gonna fire it up, we'll go give it a wash and then bring it over to the shop. Pretty cold out here this morning, so we'll probably clean it up kind of quick and then get it inside in the warm. Nice and clean. The reason we're selling this tractor is because now that we have that John Deere 7130, that one's kind of covering some of the jobs that this one used to do. So for a couple years there, we were doing all the planting, spraying, no-till drilling, uh, hauling box manure, mowing hay, everything with this tractor. We got that John Deere just to help cover some of this job. Sometimes we want to do two things at once. And now that we have that one, we don't use this one quite as much. Not putting as many hours on it. It's mainly just for planting and spraying. It seemed like for that job, having something with two-wheel drive would actually be nicer. Because it would turn sharper and be able to see your front wheels a little better. So you'll get to see what we ended up buying. But it's nothing against this tractor. This one has really been a good machine for us. First thing I want to do now that I have it in the shop is just take all the monitors we have out of the cab. So we have our GPS screen here. It's a Easy Guide 500. You have to take that off. And then this is for the corn planter and then the sprayer. Those should be easy to take out. And then up on top, that's for the GPS. For the easy guide, there was a power wire, and then this wire goes up to the GPS globe, or whatever you call it, up on the roof. So I ran it right along the top, and then out this little gap there. Here, take it. Got all the monitors out of here. Last thing is this one cord. We have running up to the battery, gotta take off. So there it is, everything's out. Now I can just clean the cab out, we'll vacuum the floor, and we'll wipe down all the windows and the plastic. Get some dust in here. Finished cleaning the cab. Looks a lot nicer. This tractor's due to be serviced. I'm gonna go ahead and change the oil fuel filters and the air filter. 
I went and got a bunch of filters last week. It's nice to have it completely serviced if we're gonna be selling it. That way the next person that gets it, it's ready to go. I wanna drain the engine oil, but I should warm the tractor up first, I guess, because it's gonna be a little cold right now. Here's the engine oil drain plug. So we got the old fuel filters off of here. And there's a, another hydraulic oil filter right there I just changed. And a third hydraulic oil filter goes right in there. Got the fuel filters on, now I have to hook this wire up to the end of this one. It's the water separator. So the last filter I have is this outer air filter. Gotta open up the hood for that. Nothing's leaking in here. When we bought this tractor, it was actually fully set up for a loader. We have the two mounts that go in the front. So we're gonna put those brackets back on here. They just get bolted right here. Um, I probably won't put the joystick back in the cab unless the person who's gonna get it wants it in there or they can put it in. Yeah.
took the tractor over to the barn and washed a couple spots I had missed. So it's ready to go now. It is for sale, so if you're interested in it, let me know. But I'll go around and just talk about the specs a little bit. Show everything on the tractor. So it's a New Holland TS6 130. It's 130 engine horsepower. Four wheel drive, we have radial tires all the way around. The rear tires are the Michelin Agribibs. These are probably at least 75% life, maybe a little more. We've had them for a good while, but they last, they don't wear out much. And then these are just a year old BKT radial tires in the front. So these are probably 95% plus. It is loader ready. Got these brackets back on, all the plumbing is here. And the joystick can be put in the cab. We don't have it in right now. It's got the front fenders on it. It does take deaf fluid. Tractor has three remotes. It has a 540 and 1000 PTO. So right now we have the 540 in and we keep the 1000 up here in the toolbox. Oh, it's a gift for me for cleaning it up, I guess. Clover Farms chocolate milk, it's the good stuff. The 1000 RPM PTO shaft is right there. Lid busted off of there, but. So in the cab, it's got a buddy seat, pretty nice. Um, then there's a good amount of space on the side here. Little tabletop cup holder. On the other side, good compartments. Three remotes, PTO, throttle. Then the transmission is two ranges down here and then the four gears you shift through right there. And there's a high low button. You don't have to clutch to go high to low. And then it has a left hand reverser. Foot throttle. One thing I like about this cab is it has corner windows in the back. Pretty good visibility. When I was spraying and everything, I could see out really well. Swings open. Pull that out to get your cords through or whatever. Does have a sunroof. This can be pulled back and you just glass up there. And then what I would sometimes do is pull the shade down to there. Working in the evenings when it's, the sun's going down, getting in your eyes. It's got a manual e-brake here on the left side. The seat has a good ride to it, air seat. Tractor has 1,407 hours. And this is your def fluid percentage. It's about half full of def. That's about it for the cab. It's got doors on the left and right sides. We have it set at 60 inch width right now because we were using it for row crop work. Yeah, so let me know if you're interested. We're selling it because it doesn't really fit our needs the best anymore. I think this other tractor we're getting is gonna save us a little bit of money and just fit our uses a little bit better. To finish out this video, I wanted to do a little update on my office. So I had you all vote on a name and I got the results here. 26,000 votes and 10 Gen Den got 47% of them. Pretty much a landslide victory for 10 Gen Den. We'll call it the 10 Gen Den. I'm gonna have to build some sort of sign for up there, but it's a cool name. Thanks for voting, everyone that did. Then a couple of things I wanted to show you inside here. I got some cool gifts. Somebody sent me this picture of a cow. Thought that was pretty cool. And a guy named Alex made this for me. It's a shot from some drone footage from one of my videos. Pulled it out, it's like a piece of canvas. So that's pretty neat. Definitely a cool picture. And then I got some drawings up from some young fans. So if you see your picture here, thanks for sending it.